And hello. Today I'd like to talk to you about putting yourself in your own pocket with Applied Energistics 2. In Applied Energistics 2, we get the spatial I.O. port and spatial pylons. The way this works is you put down spatial I.O. port and inside you put a spatial storage cell. Spatial storage cells come in three different sizes. They come in uh, 2 by 3, well, 2 by 2 by 2, 16 cubed, and 128 cubed. Once you pick the size of cell that you want and you put it inside the I.O. port, you build out pylons to match that size. So uh, in here, I've got a 16 uh, cubed spatial storage cell, which stores a 15 by 15 by 15 grid. So I build out pylons, 15 to the Z, 15 to the Y, and 15 to the X. Now, this whole area inside here, not counting this bottom row here, um, will be teleported off to another dimension when we apply a redstone current to the spatial I.O. port. So you can see I've got some blocks inside here right now, and these are going to exchange place with the ones inside this spatial storage cells dimension. So let's go ahead and see that. Bloop. Okay, I've got all this stuff over here. And all of that is inside the storage cell. Okay, and if I hit it again, I get my old stuff back. And you can see if I build onto this while it's here, And I can exchange, and exchange, and it's back again. All right, looking good so far. Looks pretty safe. Um, oh, one thing I do want to point out, the native behavior of this is that the storage cell will stay over here to the right. Um, so I've just added a um, separate network. There's an import bus underneath it. I uh, can't quite see it. And a storage bus to the side of it. Uh, and so those are just pulling it out of the right and putting it back into the left where it's usable again. Okay, um, so how do I put myself into my own pocket? Great question, I'm glad you asked. Just get inside the area that's being teleported. So here we are standing here inside the 15 by 15 by 15 of my pylons, right? We've got that, we've got that, and I've actually added some to this side here. They don't uh, they're not required, but they reduce the amount of energy. Uh, so I'm going to just come over here and pull my lever while I'm standing inside of it. And this just runs over to that spatial I.O. port. And poof, we're off to another dimension. Okay, here we are. Oh, don't worry, it's safe down there. You can't actually fall. Uh, and yes, you can build in here as well. And if you bring it back, uh, all of the new things you've built will come back along with you. Okay, so you notice I've got three different setups in here. Uh, one, I've got this, this nether portal. Uh, so this is just to show you that this does not work. Uh, you can't build a portal to the nether from inside your, uh, your, your little pocket dimension here. I guess it uh, just won't link you out. So make sure you do have another way to get out of here. Um, so. I'm using Miscraft to get back and forth for right now um, because I'm right now I'm playing the um, FTB Unstable pack and it's missing some some kind of key elements I need to get back, um, including chunk loaders. So since I don't have any chunk loaders, I don't really have a way to link back to my ME network on the Overworld. Uh, if I did, what we would do is we would use uh, quantum link chamber and we would link this up to our primary network uh, we would use a p2p redstone tunnel uh, and we would pass our redstone signal back to our primary network and we would output that uh, next to our spatial IO port uh, and if we really want to strand ourselves over here or put ourselves in our own pocket we would use an access terminal to reach into our spatial IO port and um, pull out our spatial storage cell. But for now, we're just going to use Miscraft. Poof. And then we're going to grab our storage cell. And I got myself a linking book while I was over there. And this goes to my storage cell. And here we are. Look at that. We are in our own pocket. So a little bit paradoxical. We've got this storage cell right here that we are currently standing inside while it is in our own pocket. So, 
Um, I can see a few applications for this, maybe on a PvP or raid server. Um, you could build a base and then deny any kind of access to it. Um, you know, of course, your your options for getting out may be somewhat limited. Uh, I guess you could, you know, look at your miscraft book back to here while standing over a pool of lava so it would fall in or something like that. Um, if you do end up using applied energistics to pull the cell in behind you, um, there's always the danger that someone will destroy your rig in the overworld. Um, you know, if they destroy your spatial I.O. port or your pylons, uh, you won't really be able to bring yourself back here. And as far as I can tell, you will be stuck there uh, essentially forever. I haven't tried dying in there. Um, I guess if you died, you, you may return to the overworld. Uh, could be server config based. Um, the other issue I'm having with being able to use... Um, ooh, I've just lost my train of thought. Uh, the other problem I'm having with uh, being able to link over into my storage cell is I can't get my um, singularities to entangle. And I'm sure it's just a issue with this you know, alpha version I'm using. Ordinarily you just put them next to some TNT, it blows up, and you get two entangled singularities that you can use. Uh, to to make your bridge um, not really an option right now uh, but you know the the idea is solid um, so and a lot of servers love miscraft anyway so that is a way that you can put yourself into your own pocket using applied energistics 2 and in this case miscraft but otherwise just uh, any chunk loader so uh, I hope you've enjoyed if you uh, have any comments questions or concerns uh, feel free to leave them uh, and I'll try and get back to you. Thanks.